everybody, Katie here with Omi Crochet, and in today's tutorial, we are going to be making a matching washcloth and dish towel. The washcloth measures to be 9 by 9 inches, the dish towel is 21 by 16. I ended up using the Lily's Sugar and Cream in the color white, overcast, and rainforest. Feel free to use whatever cotton yarn you want and whatever colors you want. Um, I did end up getting the super size ball and if you're gonna make both of these, then you're gonna need two skeins of your, your base color, your main color. Um, I used a five millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. All right, we're going to start out by making the washcloth, dish rag, whatever you call it. And we're going to start by making a magic circle. Go ahead and draw up a loop. And from here, chain two. And the chain two is going to count as your first double crochet. Now we're going to place another double crochet into the magic circle. So yarn over, insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we have two double crochets. We need a total of 12. So go ahead and make 10 more. Once you have your 12 double crochet and remember the chain two counts as one go ahead and pull the tail and close now to close up here's your chain two and then here's your first actual double crochet we are going to slip stitch into that double crochet and so this loop right here acts as the top of the chain two the stitch for the chain two. So now we're starting in this stitch and what we're going to do is chain two and that's our first double crochet. Double crochet again into that same space and every stitch around is going to get two double crochet. So here we are at the end of round two and it does kind of look like we already worked into our last stitch, but if you go back down to your chain two, right here, that's the top of that stitch. And we started in this stitch. So this needs two more. And if you're not sure, just go ahead and count your stitches. But at the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. All right, so from here, again, this is our chain two. We're gonna jump over to the first double crochet and slip stitch. Chain up two and into that same stitch, I'm going to place a double crochet. The following stitch will get one double crochet the next stitch we'll get two. And the following stitch will get one. And that is the repeat for round three. Two double crochet, one, two, one, two, one, all the way around. Coming up to the end of round three, we have two stitches remaining. The first stitch is going to get two double crochet and the last stitch will get one. Here's your chain two. Here's your first actual double crochet. We're gonna slip stitch into that to close. And now you should have a total of 36 stitches. 
For round four, this is where we are going to turn the circle into a square. And we're gonna start out by chaining six. And the chain six counts as a treble crochet plus chain two. Into that same space, we're gonna place a treble crochet, so yarn over twice, insert your hook, draw up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's your first corner. In the next two stitches, we are going to place one double crochet. In the next stitch, that will get one half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. The next two stitches will get one single crochet. And then the next stitch will get a half double crochet. And the following two stitches will get one double crochet. Now we're going to place another corner in the next stitch and to do that, yarn over twice, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's a treble crochet followed by a chain two and into that same stitch we are going to place another treble crochet. And this section right here, it's going to be our repeat. So after each corner, you're going to place two double crochets, one half double crochet, two single crochets, one half double crochet, two doubles, and then a corner. Now I'm at the end of round four. I'm on my final side and I just placed my two single crochets. I have three stitches remaining. So the first one will get a half double crochet and these last two will get a double crochet. And now I'm just gonna come up here. I'm gonna count back three and slip stitch to close. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the corner, chain up two, and then another double crochet into that chain space chain two into the same chain space, two more double crochet, and now we are just going to double crochet in every stitch until we get to the corner. And don't forget this first stitch right here. Now that we got to the corner, we're going to do the same thing we did over here. Place two double crochet, followed by chain two, and two more double crochet all into that chain space. And the same thing in each stitch across, go ahead and place one double crochet. When you get to the corner, repeat what we did here. Coming up to the end of round five, finish up your double crochet and here's our chain two. Jump over to the top of the next stitch and slip stitch to close. Chain up two for the next round. 
So that's round five complete. And from here to here, you should have a total of 14 stitches. Round six, it's just a repeat of this round. So like I said, start with your chain two. And now we're at a corner. So go ahead and work two double crochet followed by a chain two, two double crochet. Okay, we're at the end of round six and let's keep placing your double crochet. Chain two is right here. Slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. And for this round, you should have a total of 18 stitches in between your corners. Moving on to round seven, go ahead and cut your white yarn. And if you haven't already, chain up one and pull that close. All right, I'm going to use the gray yarn now. I'm just going to tie onto the corner and chain up one. And this round, the corners, they're going to get two half double crochet, followed by a chain two, and two more half double crochet. Now each stitch across will get one half double crochet and then repeat what we did here in all the corners and we'll be good to go for this round. We'll meet up at the end. We are at the end of round seven. I'm placing my last half double crochet. I've already cut my yarn and now we are going to slip stitch into the first stitch of the round, chain up one and pull through. And from corner to corner, you should have a total of 22 half double crochets. Okay, for round eight, using the color Rainforest, and I'm just gonna tie onto the corner. All right, once you're tied on, go ahead and chain up two, and that counts as your first double crochet. Another double crochet, chain two, and into that same corner space, two more double crochet, just as we have been doing. All right, so from here, double crochet, and then every stitch across will get a double crochet. And then do your corners. All right, we're at the end of round eight. Finish your double crochet. Here's your chain two. Here's the first double crochet stitch. We're gonna slip stitch into there to close. Chain up one and cut your yarn. From corner to corner, you should have a total of 26 stitches. For round nine, tie onto the corner space with your gray yarn and this is our final round. Go ahead and chain up one. We are going to place two half double crochet. And for this round in the corner, we're only chaining one and two more half double crochet. And just finish the round by placing a half double crochet into each stitch and repeating what we did in the corner. To finish off round nine, continue making your half double crochet and then slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. And then I'm gonna come back to the third loop of the last stitch and slip stitch, chain up one and pull it 
close. And that helps keep your knot in the back and you can just weave it down and through. So at the end of round nine, from corner to corner, you should have a total of 30 stitches. And the washcloth is complete. We're gonna move on to making the dish towel. Go ahead and work up the first three rounds and I'll show you what we're gonna do on the fourth. All right, so for the dish towel, the first three rounds are the same and we are going to do one more increase round before we turn the circle into a square. So go ahead and chain up two and into the same stitch, place a double crochet. The next two stitches will get one double crochet. The following will get two double crochet. And the next two stitches will each get one double crochet. And that's the repeat for round four. Two double crochet, one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around. We're at the end of round four and we have three stitches remaining. In the first stitch, place two double crochet and the remaining two stitches will each get one. Join with a slip stitch. You should have a total of 48 stitches. For round five, we are going to chain six and treble crochet into the same stitch. Now the next two stitches will get one double crochet. The next two stitches will get one half double crochet. And the next three stitches will get one single crochet. And now the next two will get a half double crochet. And then the next two will get one double crochet. And then we are going to make another corner triple crochet followed by a chain two, treble crochet. And that is what your sides are going to be. So after your corner, the first two will get double crochets, the next two will get half double, the next three will get single, the next two will get half double, the next two will get double, and then we're at a corner. We're at the end of round five. I'm finishing up my last side. These last two stitches are my two half double crochets. So now I just need to finish up with two double crochet. And then I'm just gonna come up here. My chains, one, two, into that third one, slip stitch to join. Once you've completed round five, round six, seven, eight, and nine are all the same. You're going to double crochet all the way across, then two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet in the corner. We'll meet up at the end of round nine. We are finishing up round nine with a double crochet, and then we are going to slip stitch to close, chain up one, and then go ahead and cut your yarn. For round six, you should have a total of 17 stitches from corner to corner. Round seven, you should have 21 from corner to corner, then 25 in round eight, 
and 29 in round nine. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is turn your work over so the wrong side is facing up and then go ahead and attach your yarn to the upper right corner. And from here, what we're going to do is chain up two and that's going to count as your first double crochet. From here, we're going to work one double crochet into each stitch and then one double crochet into the corner. Now that we're at the corner, place one double crochet and you should have a total of 31 stitches across. Go ahead and chain up two, turn your work, and we're gonna repeat that same thing for a total of five rows. So we already have one row, we need to do it four more times. I am at the end of my fifth row and I have two stitches remaining. Don't forget that this chain two right here is a stitch so you will need to place a double crochet there and now just go ahead and cut your yarn and do the same thing we just did to the other side i'm finishing up the five rows on the other side still a total of 31 stitches and we are not going to cut our yarn. From here, we are going to chain up two and turn our work. And the chain two again counts as your first double crochet, double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet all the way across. Here we are at the end of the row. Here's your chain two, place two double crochets. Chain two and then turn. And right here, this fifth row of double crochets that we made into this first space right here around the post, we're going to place three double crochets. One, two, and three. And around the posts of the rest of the rows, those will each get two double crochets. And now we're at this corner space and that also is going to get two double crochet. Now one double crochet into each stitch across and don't forget about this guy right here. And then when we get back over here to the corner, place two double crochet two, 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 and this last one will get three. We're at the other end. I will show you how to do the corner one more time. So this last post, three double crochets. Now we're gonna chain two and into this first stitch right here, we're gonna place two double crochets. And that's your corner. Double crochet all the way across. The chain to the last space, we'll get two double crochet, chain two, and then three double crochet right here into this around this first post and then do the same thing that you did to the other side along this side and then I'll meet back up to show you how to close okay here we are at the last post we're going to place three double crochet around there 
and three. And now we're gonna chain two. And we need one more double crochet right here with our chain two. And now we're going to slip stitch to close. From here, we're gonna chain up two and we are going to work two more rounds. So just double crochet into each stitch. And when you get to the corners, it's two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Okay, so I just finished up and after we did our five rows, I did one, two, three rounds. Um, after the first round, you should have a total of 33 stitches across. Your second round, you should have a total of 37 across. And your final round, you should have a stitch count of 41 across. And now to finish up the dish towel, we are just going to put a border on. And it's going to be the same thing that we did to the washcloth. It's just going to be tying on to the corner, two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets, and a half double crochet all the way down. And then we're going to switch colors, do a round of double crochet, and then one more round in the gray of half double crochets. And remember this last round, instead of chaining two in the corner, just chain one. And then you'll be done with your dish towel. So I have finished up the border of the dish towel and it is complete. The last thing that needs to be done is to weave in all of the ends. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I just want to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks.